what is going on my fishing peeps we're out here on pepper park san diego bay and we're gonna go fishing for whatever wants to eat we're gonna fish a little z-man ned rig right there and we're just gonna try to catch anything it is the middle of the day and it is quote unquote winter time in san diego it is 85 degrees and crystal clear sunny skies Let's see what happens Okay, well, it actually wasn't that good of a day, and I kind of messed up on filming, so we're just going to give you a rundown and show you some highlights from the day. So we started off at the Pepper Park launch ramp. We came out, our first fish, which is going to be the Bonito, we caught right here. We ended up paddling over to this side of the channel, came back around, and we didn't hit anything on these spots. So we go over to here, we had a couple spotted bay bass here, paddled back over to here we got some spotted bay bass and halibut and we came back to the ramp for a total of about 2.7 miles throughout the day so keep watching and i'll show you the highlights from the fish we caught today whoa i didn't even get the Heck. So that was on the sink. Oh, I'm falling over. I mean, it's head shaking like a spotty, but it's not pulling very hard. I don't know what we're on, guys. I have no idea. Holy mackerel! Literally! We're either on a monster mackerel or a really good sized bonito. Oh, and he's got Corvina all around him. No freaking way. No way. Dude, look at that size of that Corvina right there. And Bonito, just tanker. Look at this, guys. Look at this. <laughs> look at the drag rip on that thing. Howdy. This thing ever gonna die out? I don't think it is. That Corvina is a monster. We're gonna definitely hit this spot for a bit. Check out the monster back bay. Bonita! Bonito. Bonito. That is the biggest Bonito I've ever caught in San Diego Bay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no freaking way, guys. What a beautiful fish. Look at that guy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna fish this side of the channel. It's unanchorable five feet in front of me which means it is more than 10 feet deep five feet in front of me and then right where i'm standing it's like five six feet so there's a big drop right here somewhere hopefully the spotties will be on it water's pretty murky so i don't know if the corvina will necessarily be on it but it could be i would imagine they like the other side that clear water they can get the bait all schooled up against the shoal There's a spotty. Mr. Spotty. There we go. Man, that guy took forever. A little guy, a little squeaker, but little tiny spotty. Come here, dude. I think that's a little guy. Take it, though. Spotty number two. Very little, but man, we are, he's super cold, but let's see what he's got inside his mouth. All he's got is grass. All right, so, little tiny guy, but that's number, fish number three. Man, it is a rough, 
bite today. Crazy rough. That's a fish on. Gotta be a spotty. There we go, a little bit better decent one. More decent spotty than what we've got, but not that great, but a little better. All right, Mr. Spotty. Turn my bait back. We're just trying to get your photo. Well, all right, see you later, man. Anybody home under the bait? bite digging it's got to be a spot he just shaking his head there we go there we go is that number four cuatro I don't want to fire gills up I'll stick my finger in there then here we go guys look at that a little sunset spotty oh you guys are really they're not on the photo game today, huh? 